Portsmouth became a university in 1992 and uh, now we are basically a modern university at the heart of a very vibrant city on the south coast of the UK. The University of Portsmouth has around 20, 21 and a half thousand students of which around 4,000 are international students on first degree courses um, from over 140 countries. And the university has two and a half thousand staff. So we're a fairly good, fairly good size university. We're about enabling people to, to teach and research and to communicate. Um, and to do that using the, the latest technologies. My name's Rob Walker. I'm uh, the security architect here at the University of Portsmouth. My role is to help people to make good decisions about risk, particularly technological risk. The type of threats out there today are evolving all the time. They include denial of service attacks and injection attacks and attacks that can um, circumvent traditional firewall technologies. We have to understand the nature of those threats and where they're coming from and be prepared to have the technology in place to deal with them. To Deliver a very authoritarian lockdown security environment just doesn't work here. We have to be able to meet the current security challenges and future ones with a degree of agility that means we can respond effectively and quickly to issues um, as they occur in real time. Palo Alto Networks Firewall is one of our key security pillars. When we identified the need to replace our existing firewall, um, we meticulously um, set out our requirements and we felt that Palo Alto Networks ticked all the boxes. And we were particularly impressed that uh, the firewall performance did not significantly degrade with all the features enabled. I'm James Holland, uh, the Network and Security Services Manager for the University of Portsmouth, uh, responsible for all the network infrastructure, um, cyber security, um, disaster recovery plans, um, wireless telephony, quite a long list of things, but uh, keeps me very busy anyway. Our old firewall had been um, deployed about 11 years ago. Um, so it served us, served us very well over that period of time. But over the last uh, decade or so, obviously technology has, has moved on significantly um, and its capabilities were, um, were very limited in comparison with today's security appliances, such as the, um, the Palo Alto Networks 5060. It's very important to get it absolutely right because the, the threat, the nature of the threats is constantly changing, as I, as I said. And we needed to build in scalability and we needed to build in a longevity to make sure we had absolutely the right product to serve our purpose. We felt that Palo Alto Networks um, offered an excellent solution, simple as that. 